time to talk about how to charge up your electronics in the backcountry. Lately I've been getting a lot of questions on what I use to charge up my electronics in the backcountry. Well depending on the trip I might use this one here or this one here. But before we get into talking about these two devices, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for any notifications of new videos I got coming out. So let's get into these two devices here and talk about what I use them for. Depending on how long I'm in the backcountry, if I'm just out for a weekend, I'm going to take this device right here. It's a RAV Power 10,000 milliamp uh, power bank. And if I'm out for more than that, say a week long trip, maybe four or five days, um, I'll take this one right here, or even if it's colder weather. This one is an Anchor 20,000 milliamp power bank. So let's get into each one and I'll talk to you a little bit more about them. First off, this device here, this is a RAV Power uh, Quick Charge 3.0. It's got a 3.0 charger for the input and the output. That way it charges your devices very quickly. Comes in at 6.8 ounces, and as you can see, it's about the size of a cell phone here. Put that behind it. It's just the same size as my Samsung phone here. Uh, same width almost, as you can see. Pretty similar in width, sort of, this is like a ultra thin version. Put a little sticker on the back in case somebody else had the same one in camp. We don't mix them up. But this one charges my electronics quickly. Usually the only thing I'm charging on this one on an overnight trip or a weekend trip is my cell phone or my headlamp. I pulled up a couple specs real quick just so you can see how many times this charges up something. If you have an iPhone X, it charges it up to 2.2 times. iPhone 8 up to 3.3 times. Uh, Galaxy S8 up to twice. I've used it on my S7. I've got about two and a half charges on there, which is great for a weekend trip. Usually, you get your cell phone out there, you just put airplane mode. You're not going to need to charge it up two and a half times. Let's see here. What other specs is it? I think I already talked about it. 6.8 ounces, uh, 5.7 and a half, so five and three quarter inches high, two and uh, almost two and three quarter inches wide, and then 0.63 inches thin. Pretty nice. And then you want to maybe know about recharging time on this. It's saying here, uh, via a quick charger, it only takes about three and a half hours to charge this back up, which is pretty impressive for a thing like this, perfect for the backcountry. So this is what I would use on a weekend trip, something where I just need to charge up my cell phone a couple times, like I said earlier. It's got the ports right there. You've got your input, your output, your power. Uh, let's see here. You've got some indicator lights on there. Is it picking them up? Hopefully you can see them. There's four indicator lights on there. Uh, one, two, three, four. It's fully charged right now. So that one's good to go on my next weekend trip. But let's get into this big bad boy here. It is huge. So this one right here is the Anchor PowerCore 20,000 milliamp uh, power bank. I've used this since the Lost Coast Trail. That's what I got it for. It's overkill for that one, but I've used this in Utah. I've used this on the High Sierra Trail. So High Sierra Trail, my longest backpacking trip. I used it to charge up my Karma Grip gimbal. I used it to charge up my cell phone, GoPro batteries, uh, my headlamp, and at the end of the trip, I still had juice. I actually uh, let some of the other people in our group use it as well for a couple times for their cell phones. Still had juice at the end. So according to the specs on this, this thing weighs in at 12 and a half ounces, so it's twice as heavy as this one here. It will charge an iPhone 8 almost seven times, and Galaxy S8 five times, and iPad mini four twice. Um, I've used this just on my S7. Like I said, the whole High Sierra trip, I still had juice at the end. According to the other specs here, it says extra hours of battery life based on current average smartphone batteries is a plus 92 hours. That's pretty darn good for this. These devices are not too cheap. When I got this, I got this one on sale. I think it runs around $45 now. This one here is right around $25 now. I'll put links below to each one for you on Amazon. They're Amazon affiliate links if you want to pick one up. Sometimes they go on sale, so you just got to keep checking back on those. But both are great power charging options. Just depends what you want to do. If you want to go on a weekend trip, bring this one. If you're going for a, a week long trip, bring this one here. It's all up to you. Anchor, RAV Power are both great brands and they stand by their products. Um, I had one of these before, 
a RAV Power 10,000 milliamp and this got loose in here right here with where I was charging it just went hold the uh, power cord in there the USB cord so I contacted them they sent one back to me I said well what would you like me to do with the other one they just said to hold on to it so I actually fixed that one up so hopefully this answered your questions for you on what type of charger you should take in the back country if you should take a 20,000 milliamp or a 10,000 milliamp maybe even a little bit smaller maybe it's overnight maybe get yourself like a 5,000 milliamp like one of those small little ones they're about half the size of this they sort of cut down like they're like that big but either one would be good for you. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up there. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing, like I said in the beginning of the video, and ring the bell wherever it is for notifications of new videos I got coming out. Until the next one, thanks for having me.